here, chilling in the hotel, and I thought it would be a good idea to show you a few ways you can bring like some healthy food with you while you are on the go or like in a hotel room. Our hotel room did not supply us with a um, fridge, however we do have a little mini cooler that we brought with us, so if your hotel doesn't have a fridge, I would recommend bringing a cooler and you can just change out the ice. Most hotels have ice makers, so um, that's one way you can keep your food cool. Or if you have like leftovers and want to store it, you can do that too. Midge well, yeah, mini fridge, but this is all stuff you have to buy. Like, yeah, so basically the temptation fridge. And in here, what we did was go to the grocery store and I picked out a few healthier items to have on deck in case I wanted to snack on something, so you can get just little like lunch cut up vegetables. These are just carrots, little snack size, something you'd throw in like a kid's lunch box, but it's still good to have and snack on whenever you're kind of wanting to do that board eating by the pool. They also had some celery sticks that I picked up. And then I also picked up some snap peas, and these are actually really good, and I like these to snack on. They're pretty sweet, so one too. One other thing that I brought during our trip is some protein sources. I brought little samples of protein packets, and you can buy stuff like this on bodybuilding.com. Uh, these are really nice to travel with because it's already pre-portioned. All you have to do is just pour it into some water and you're good to go. So I recommend buying little protein sample packets like that. Um, if not, most of the time when you go into supplement stores, if you ask them for little protein samples, they'll have them. And that way you can be a little sneaky and get free little protein packets like this and travel with them. So that's one way to do it for free. All right, so we did bring a little cooler with us. Ooh, packing some meal prep with some wine. This would recommend getting some sort of yogurt. Like I said, during vacation, it's important to make sure you're getting in enough protein if you're lifting and still working I just out. have some light and fit Greek yogurts. These have like 12 grams of protein. Um, what is it, like nine carb and zero fat. Quick, easy breakfast too. So you can have like two yogurts, have a quick breakfast, have some protein, you're saving money, and it's healthier than like, I don't know, ordering a big greasy bacon sandwich <laughs> from the little downstairs breakfast place. I also got little packets of cottage cheese. If your um, hotel has fresh fruit, you can just mix in some fresh fruit in there and have another breakfast on the go. Relatively healthy. I found these, which are kind of cool. They're the light and fit Greek crunch. I thought that would be a little tasty and I did have the coconut one and it was really, really good. So those are just a couple things that I brought with me to help keep me on track while I am on vacation. I'm also still going to go out to eat, obviously. Um, they don't give you a fridge and a microwave for a reason and that's so you buy all their stuff, which I hate, but that's just how it's going to be. You can also request request for a fridge normally. If you really want one in your hotel room, they'll just charge you. Like I said, just bring a cooler, buy some food at a local grocery store, and then bring it with you. And that way you can stay on track a little bit better and save some money. So I am about to head off to the park and I will see you guys later. My main focus for today's workout was chest, triceps, and biceps. This hotel only had a Smith machine and they did not have any sort of cable machine, which kind of sucked because I really enjoy doing the cables. However, I was happy they had a Smith machine. I can't complain. At least it's better than having only dumbbells. And here I did a flat bench. I did four sets, I think eight to 12 reps. I also did some plate pushes. I'm holding a 10 pound weight, which is super light. However, I just did higher reps. So I did 15 to 20 reps here with a 10 pound plate. You'll feel this in your upper chest and a little bit in your triceps. 
Now, this hotel actually did have a few machines. This is a chest press machine. And one thing I've been doing is a lot of isolated type movements on machines. So I'm doing a single arm instead of both my arms here. After I did eight to 12 reps, I switched my arms. I'm putting my hand, it looks like I'm putting my hand on my boob, but I'm not. I'm putting my hand on my upper chest. Just helps me with the uh, muscle mind connection. And after I do isolated, isolated, I will do both arms just to burn out. And this was one of my favorite things I did for my workout, actually. I actually got quite, quite a good pump from doing this. I moved on to the typical bicep bro curl. This is actually a really great isolation movement for biceps, and biceps is something I've always wanted, but genetically, my biceps suck because I have really long muscle bodies, so they look super small. That's another story. Um, anyway, I did, I believe, four, three or four sets, and it was just like 10 to 12 reps. Um, putting my hand on my muscle again, helping me with that connection, and getting a good pump. I sometimes see a lot of people just rush through their movements without really thinking about what muscles they're using. So if you're doing an isolated movement with like one arm or one leg, it helps to put your other hand on that muscle and really think about it and think about the contraction that is happening. And then I finished off my workout with some narrow push-ups. I'm kind of weak at them, getting my strength back slowly. And then I also did some dips on a bench. And yeah, this just about killed me. It was a superset, so it, um, yeah, it kind of kicked my ass. And that's probably why my form was looking a little bit sloppy. But I also did tricep kickbacks with a dumbbell. These are really nice because it doesn't really require much except for a dumbbell. I did three sets of 12 to 15 reps here, really squeezing at the top and focusing on the extension because that is the job of the tricep is to extend your arm. And I also did some bicep curls. So I just held dumbbells on either side, really try to tuck my elbows in close to my waist. And I did three sets of 10 reps here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I'm leaving the gym right now. It was a pretty good workout. There definitely is not a lot to work with, but I was trying to get creative. Um, I'm kind of one of those where I don't care if it's my birthday or vacation. If I want to work out, then I will, and I enjoy it. And I wanted to show you guys the pool. It looks really nice. We haven't gone swimming yet because it keeps storming here, and that's another reason why I decided to work out was... Did you guys see that? Very pretty. But I decided to work out because it was pouring rain. I didn't want to sit in the hotel room, so... If you guys are having issues with fitting workouts in. So what I was gonna say is, usually people have like this brief intermission in their day where they like to relax and chill out. And that's when I would recommend you go and get your workout in. So I went on a family vacation and right now my family, they're just relaxing in the hotel room. It was raining earlier and that's what they're doing. So I decided to utilize that time instead of relaxing to get a workout in and getting a workout in is like me time my alone time and I need at least like an hour of me time a day I don't know about you guys but some people watch TV shows to relax or other people just go on walks alone for me I just like to get a quick lift in so that's what we did and it's extremely hot and I feel like I'm standing in a sauna yeah. So we did chest, biceps, and triceps today, and it was pretty decent. It was kind of difficult though because they seriously had one 30 pound dumbbell and not two, which was awkward. So I couldn't really do the weight I wanted to. And if you guys find yourself in that situation, just increase the amount of sets you're doing. So if, let's say your like hotel gym or gym in general doesn't have a lot of weights or stuff to play with. You can always train more than three sets. So let's say you only have dumbbells, you don't have any cables or anything. I'd recommend just doing like five sets of chest press instead of three. And that way you're still hitting the muscle, just hitting it more with an exercise that you can do. Um, changing it up and doing different variations is always awesome. 
but if you don't have the luxury to do that, I would just say increase your sets and you're going to get the same amount of work in. I found one. Alright guys, the guy that worked there was like the sweetest, the sweetest old man. Um, got my monster. I'm going to taste test it in front of you because I've never tried this flavor before and I don't even, it doesn't even say, have like a flavor name on it. It just says low carb. Low carb is not a flavor. Not bad. Please excuse like the poofy hair. It's just so humid here you guys. It's probably like 90% humidity and around like 86 degrees, so it's really hot, really humid. Just worked out. And uh, yeah, whatever. I just look gross. Give this an eight. Hey, yeah. you're good. So I'd give this monster probably a seven and a half. I wouldn't really buy it again, it's not that great, but I need that energy. I have not been sleeping well at all.